Hello everyone, welcome to your next tutorial on how to build powerful microservices and API platform with Laravel Lumen. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at something very unique. What if we want to make sure that only authorized users are able to access some of our routes or endpoints, you understand? Let us look at how to do it in this tutorial. And the first thing we have to check out is a bootstrap folder. We hit a bootstrap folder and check the app.php. Just make sure that your old service provider is commented out. Just make sure that um, it's uncommented. Make sure that it looks like this. And then your route middleware, make sure that um, you have it uncommented too. Then the next thing you have to do is head to your app folder. We are going to head to our app folder inside HTTP. We check out the authenticate middleware inside the middleware folder. This particular function just scroll down. This particular handle function is what takes in every request that is um, that we are going to protect and uh, check whether a user the user is authenticated. If the user is authenticated, it returns to the uh, next response. But if the authentication didn't work, it will tell it will return unauthorized with a 401 error. But then let us look at the function that actually checks uh, or authenticates this user. To do that, we have to go to providers inside the providers folder and uh, we check your auth service provider. And then you scroll down to boot. This is the function. This is the function that checks if a user or this is a function that authenticates a user. And then this is where the magic happens. You can rewrite this function to be anything. Just make sure that after doing your whole manipulation, you will return a user, return the active user or the user that you authenticated. Otherwise, nothing will be returned here, which means it's null. This is null by default. And then if null is returned, it will pass on that return to our other file, our authenticate file, and the authenticate file will return the response of um, unauthorized. So this is the sample code they have written. And what this code basically does is check the among the requests that is coming in, whether there is uh, a field called API token. And if there is a field called API token, it will check the user database for the field API token where whatever is coming in as API token is the same. You remember that we, in our databases, we created um, in our post database, in our user database, this is our user's database, we create, we had a field called API token. And this field, for every new user that is logging in, we generated a new token, uh, a new unique token for the user. So right here, what we're trying to do is to look for this user that has this token, and then we return the user, all right? So um, other kind of checks you can check here is whether this user is active is user active you can check the active field you can check the this user pay us you understand you can check for a lot of things here you can you can consult not only the user table you can consult post table different tables in your database just do all your manipulation at the end return the active user you understand so um, this function is left to you but the little adjustment i'll make to it is it just takes check the input field. We'll come back and make a little adjustment here later on where we can make sure that the API token can also be passed in as header. So our client can decide to pass in this API token as the header or as uh, a body, you understand? So let us go to, uh, we now understand how this works. So we have to get back to our routes file and do the magic. We need to protect some routes here. Um, since these routes have been grouped in, what we can do is we can say uh, middleware equal to, remember the auth middleware because we had it activated in one of these guys. Um, in our app, we have the auth middleware activated, all right? So that is what we check every request that is coming in where the auth is um, activated so this middleware has been activated for all these routes so nobody can view our posts again or get a response from our post if they are not giving us a token remember when they're signing up in the platform we give them a token so for any request they want to make 
among these routes they have to send that token back to us so we know that yes this is one of our users that is making that post so that's how we protect these routes so the next thing we have to do is to go to postman and check whether this actually works so we hit on postman remember postman uh, guy here and uh, we'll make sure that the request is post because right here we have a post request we're trying to add a new post so we make sure that the request is post and then we go to the body and add some fields remember title we can just say Donald Trump has changed his new um, let's, let's go for Hillary Clinton Hillary Clinton has changed her Twitter handle all right so um, and this is the body and the views let's just say 32 and um, as you can see we, we are not passing in any API key so if we send this request right now we are going to get an error so we send the request we are getting unauthorized but before then make sure that your server is running your lumen block server is running so you have to hit your command prompt and uh, run this run php as localhost 8000 minus t public then make sure that you're running it right inside your lumen folder and of course if your your request is taking time you can just open this and type any keys on your keyboard any random keys so that your server will wake up all right we're sending this now and we are getting an error unauthorized you know where this error is coming from yes of course you do because right inside here we are in the authenticate app we are telling it to return unauthorized so we can say this user is unauthorized I'm sorry my spelling is messed up we're supposed to have unauthorized all right so it's a 401 error if we go back to postman and uh, make that request again we're going to get this user is unauthorized all right so the next thing we have to do is to go to a database pick a token for a user and try to pass it along this request so we we'll head back to our database and this is a lumen block database i've hit on users table and then we are going to take um, if we slide to the right a little we'll see api tokens here so let's take one of them and use it add it to the request we're making so i've copied this api token copy and then we get back to remember the field's name is api token so we get back to our our postman and among the fields we are passing in we are passing in api token and <clears throat> that's it we have added the the, the key here and the, the key here and then the value of the api token so let's make this request again remember that in this file we are expecting if one of the input fields called api token so if we change this to api token one we are going to simply come here and change it to api token one but the field in the database still remains api token uh, which means if, if we come back to our postman, we have to change this guy to API token 1. You understand how it works now? Then we are going to send this request just to test. And as you can see, we have a success. Um, it has succeeded and added this post to our database. All right, the next thing we're going to do is try to add another post. And um, instead of sending this API token just as body, we want to make uh, give our users the ability to send it as as both as both in the body or on the header there is a header where they can pass it in so what we can do is to come and modify our code and say that um we can just say call it api token and say api token um, you can say if this guy header if the api token is coming as header for us we should simply um, do this magic so it's coming in as header and uh, we should simply have it here or else <coughs> if it's coming in as body we can say um, here is header or else we have it in the body all right and uh, of course there are, uh, there are better ways to write this code of course so right here we're going to check if any of them exists 
then we will come here and uh, process this guy. <clears throat> Alright, so with this little code we just wrote, the user can pass it either in the body or in the header, right? And uh, which means we can now come here in our postman and uh, make sure we can remove it from here. Cop we're copying this and uh, we're coming to the header to write API token one and uh, we're pasting the API. Oh my god, let us go to the database and get another token. Okay, right here we have another token. So paste it. So among the header, there is a header, there is a header field called API token, and uh, here is the value. And then the body we are passing this particular guy. So we are going to send it and see whether it works. Oops, it works. You understand? So this is how to send your request and protect your routes um, using a token. You understand? And it's quite simple and easy. The other one thing we can do is to see how we can. Um, we can protect this route right inside the controller. What if we went to posts controller and then um, added this middleware instead of here? You understand? So if we went to post controller, we can uh, just, but before then, instead of just protecting all of them, what if we wanted to protect some of them? If we wanted to protect some, we could just have something like this. We have group duplicate it and we call this middleware off so if you are if your eyes are sharp you understand what I, I just did here so what i did basically was group a couple of the the endpoints and um, make them uh, add the middleware for just the ones i want and then these ones i don't want them to have to be protected so they are outside this group but then all of them are inside the prefix of posts so you can do it like this otherwise you can just go into the controller itself like what we want to do here and then the constructor so we're going to create a constructor there we go we have function constructor constructor and um, we can say if we wanted to protect all the routes inside all the methods inside um, this function what we can do is to just say this middleware we can say off everything is protected so if we want to protect some of them what we can do immediately so we have this we can say if we want to protect some of them we can say these are the only ones we want to protect uh, we want to protect the create add view edit and um, any other ones that we want to protect. So we can just say we want to protect only these two. So you can do it right here or you can do it in your web.php file and I honestly prefer to do it here. So if you are the guy, the kind of coder that likes to do yours right here, that would be okay. So this brings us to the end of this particular um, video. See you in the next video where we'll, we'll get back to our client. And uh, you know, this in this video, what we basically did was send this through Postman. So how, should somebody uh, that is a third-party client send it assuming we accept our api token only through headers how would a third-party client send it all right we'll see it in the next video thank you very much see you